Thank you for tuning in to another Arizona United Soccer Talk 1v1. I'm Garrett Cleverly, and on today's show, we're joined by center back Tyler Ruthman. Well, Tyler, the Arizona desert is a little different than your previous ground of, of northern Europe, right? Yeah, advantages. I've, I've played in, in different extreme climates, so growing up in Georgia, where it's 95, but it's maybe a way more humid. I'd rather play here in 105 with no humidity any day of the week. What was it like playing in Northern Europe, though? I mean, the opportunity to play in Europe, immerse yourself in that soccer culture. I mean, what was that experience like? You know, before I went over there, I, I never really saw it as an option. Uh, you know, I had teammates who had different contacts here and there, and, you know, I, I didn't really have that. I'd never talked to anybody about going over there. The fortunate thing for me was New York is one of the clubs that is recognized all over the world for, for some of the players we had in New York, so that opened some doors for me. and. Uh, it was tough at first, I'll admit. Uh, the first couple of weeks, I was like, you know, why did I do this? Is this the right move? But it's something I definitely uh, appreciate, and I'm glad I did it. It, uh, it changed my career forever. You had you had an opportunity to play in two different countries, Sweden yeah. and Finland. I mean, yeah. I mean, do you have a country that you prefer more? I mean, kind of what was the style of play like? I mean, what did you really take from that experience? You know, it, it's different in the sense that the money's on the field there. You know, they, they care about the quality on the field. They don't care about any other details. You know, they don't, it doesn't matter what the dressing room looks like. It doesn't matter where you eat after the game. It matters that you spend your money on the field and you get the best possible product that you can. So. Well, you mentioned you're from Georgia. What was that experience like growing up in Georgia and playing there? I mean, in there... Georgia, which is, I mean, mostly you consider it a football state. I mean, yeah. there is a couple of guys who've come from Georgia that play professional soccer. There's some major, major youth clubs there in the academy setup that uh, have been pumping out, you know, top level Division One players. If you create enough good college players, odds are some of them are going to, you know, become pros. I played at Concord Fire. It was a good experience. We things were very organized, almost professional in a sense. Um, you know, from the time I was 13 until I went to school. The kids now have even more of an advantage than, than what I had, but I'm excited to see uh, the city try and make a name for itself in the sport in, in, in 2017. Well, I, I gotta ask you, I mean, your dad was a major league pitcher. Uh, you know, why soccer over baseball? Uh, it's a funny story. You know, I'm laughing because I get that question, it seems like, every day. You know, I was playing youth baseball. It was a summer league all-star game, something, I don't know. I was like 10 or 11, and I was pretty good. I obviously had a natural advantage with the resources around me. And we're playing a game in this summer all-star league, and, and the coach's son pitched, and I thought I should pitch. And after the game, I remember I walked home into my parents, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not going to play baseball anymore. And they were like, well, you know, next year it'll come around, you'll sign up, whatever. And I went on to play, you know, that's when traveling soccer had started. So <clears throat> the next year when it was time to play baseball, they didn't take me seriously. And they're like, all right, you know, baseball starting next week. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this full time. I'm going to play soccer. And eventually I'm going to get paid to do it. And, I mean, obviously it's worked out for me so far. Obviously you had to be happy with that decision. I mean, you know, do you still have a passion for baseball? Or are you glad when you look back and that you said that at 12 years old that you wanted to play professional soccer? Uh, there's just definitely been days where I've questioned that decision. I've never really been handed opportunities, you know. I, I, out of college I had to start in the USL, then I moved up, and then I got to MLS, and then I went to Europe. And it's, I've always had to work for everything. Um, there's been days when things don't look so good, and I'm like, man, if I had just played baseball, I, I would have gotten opportunities just for my, my last name. But, you know, that, that thought fades pretty quick. I, I don't regret a second of it. Arizona fans are excited that you're part of the club. I mean, the team's off to a terrific start. And it's kind of a unique experience for you. You, know, you come in, preseason's one week, but the team is, is really starting to gel in a three-match undefeated streak. And what has kind of just been this experience like, you know, being involved with the club from the ground up? Uh, it's part of what made it appealing. Um, that being said, a lot of guys who've played at a higher level than this, uh, guys that have played all over the world, guys that have had success in MLS. So, you know, you see this this roster on paper and guys kind of just think that you know it's going to start flying and we're it's just going to happen uh, we learned the hard way that's not the case I think every minute of every training session there's a little bit more progress um, things are coming along and I think the guys are, are bu buying into it and and you know we hope the fans stay patient with us as, as we try and piece it together well Tyler thank you so much for joining us on Arizona United Soccer Talks 1v1 today good luck this weekend on the road thanks for having me man